A little over a month ago, things looked bleak for the Conservative Party in London. With most of the party's resources being directed towards leave-supporting areas in the Midlands and the North, and the Liberal Democrats heavily targeting pro-Remain seats in the capital, it seemed possible that a clutch of West London seats could turn yellow. Now, the dial appears to have reset. A poll put out this week by the Myland Institute, part of Queen Mary University, suggests that at most four seats could change hands, with only two, Zach Goldsmith's Richmond Park and Mike Freer's Finchley and Golders Green, going to the Lib Dems. On paper, all the others are safer now than they were, says Philip Cowley, professor of politics at Queen Mary. Lib Dem support has clearly peaked and is fading, down in both of the last two polls now. Leader Joe Swinson's ratings have also taken a pounding, he notes. Perhaps more surprisingly, the other two seats identified by the poll, Battersea and Kensington, could see a swing from Labour to Conservative. Both seats were lost in 2017, in Kensington's case the numbers were so close that ballots had to be counted three times before the final result, a majority of just 20 to Labour's Emma Dent code, could be recorded. Sam Jaima, a minister who joined the Lib Dems over Brexit, has opened the fight up in this seat, with many pollsters calling it a three-way race, but now it looks as though the Tories will edge it next week. The Lib Dems are making a lot of noise. They have sent out a ridiculous amount of literature. It feels very, very tight, says Felicity Buchan, who is standing as the Conservative candidate. Every vote is going to count. This is going to go down to the wire. Buchan, who voted leave in 2016, is hopeful that Kensington's well-heeled electorate has made its peace with the referendum sufficiently to back her over more delay and indecision with either Labour or the Lib Dems. She also believes that 2017's flirtation with Dent Code after a lacklustre national campaign is over. Clearly we did not have a good campaign in 2017, she says. To be very frank I think we were complacent in Kensington. We sent off our activists to other places. We are not going to do that this time. Any challenge for a Conservative candidate will be the Grenfell Tower disaster, which Dent Code has been hugely vocal over. After the backlash to Jaima's eyebrow-raising comments last month seemingly blaming Dent Code in part for the ill-fated decision on Grenfell's cladding, unsurprisingly Buchan dodges questions about where the responsibility lies for the huge tragedy. She does however accept that ultimately there may be findings that are uncomfortable. It was an appalling tragedy, she adds. We need to support the community, the bereaved and the survivors, to help rebuild their lives. I don't think Grenfell should be poll for more on this story, visit the news article link.